at Money 2020, the world's payment, fintech and financial services industries congregate to plot the future of money. Business is built on personal relationships. And in the digital age, the term conversational commerce applies to relationships stretching way beyond your local shop. After face-to-face -face came the phone, and more recently it was email, online chat and social media. Now we've moved to digital assistants, which can process verbal purchase requests. Currently, 36% of smart speaker owners globally use them to make purchases. Research by MasterCard, in collaboration with Future Agenda, shows that 87% of US consumers are aware of voice and text agents, and 66% have used them in the past. MasterCard Vice Chairman Ann Cairns says there's three main things for brands embracing conversational commerce to remember. If you're getting into conversational commerce, first of all, you've got to be a brand that creates a lot of trust. You also have to create a pretty frictionless experience, so the ease of use is really important. And then you've got to be able to scale it on a global basis because we're in a global world and people want to be able to move easily, buy things and have a simple experience as they move from one country to another. It'll be several years before we see the potential of conversational commerce realized in its full form. Nevertheless, the technology is already there and the payment networks that enable it are in place. OCNC estimate that in the USA alone, this form of spending will rise 20-fold to $40 billion by 2022. Within seven years, according to their prediction, it will account for half of all m-commerce spending. Are consumers ready? The evidence suggests that they are.